So when you want to create a focal point in your garden, a good way to do that is to use found and recycled objects. So for this project, I'm using three old wooden window frames that you might find in a salvage yard. I've got these flat metal brackets, four small L brackets with wood screws like these, and then two large L brackets with metal spikes. You'll also need an assortment of metal containers between eight and 10 inches in diameter. I'm using these great old cans to continue my found object theme. When you select the wooden windows, you want to try to vary the sizes and finishes and then look for interesting pane designs. Make sure that they're structurally sound or you may wish to reinforce them yourself. Remove any remaining glass or leave a few panes open like I did for some added interest. To determine the best arrangement of your windows, you'll want to lay them flat on the ground first. I'm placing the largest window at the bottom, the medium-sized window in the center, and then the smallest one on top. Placing them slightly off-center will also make it more interesting. The windows can be joined together with these metal brackets. I'm using two for each set. Place your brackets, mark the position of the holes, and then pre-drill each hole before you attach the brackets. Add an L bracket on either side of the joined windows for added stability. These large L brackets will be used to stand the window frames in the garden. Screw them into the back side of your structure at the base. Then we'll drive these spikes into the soil to hold the whole thing in place. So once your window frame structure is secured into place, you can determine how to arrange the containers. I'm using an arrangement of three because I think the odd number groupings just feel a lot better than the even ones. For my primary flower planting, I've chosen this unusual petunia. It's called Blue Affuse. I think it's got a great varied flower pattern that really makes a statement on its own. You can mount your containers in a number of ways. You can simply attach it directly to the structure like so, or you can also add a little shelf to set the containers on. Here are some final tips when planting your containers. Be sure to add a hole for drainage along the bottom, and then add a piece of landscape fabric over the hole to keep the soil from running out. You'll want to fill the pot with a good potting soil, especially formulated for containers. That way your soil will stay moist longer in between watering. Try a window pane trellis. It could become a real showpiece in your garden.